What's happening, everybody? I'm Tico, and I'm representing EUC Detroit. Today, we're going to shoot a quick video on some reactions around the S18, the V11, and the brand new EX. Out of these three suspension wheels, which one should you get? Stay tuned for some of our personal opinions, comments, and first thoughts around these suspension wheels. Let's go. So again, everybody, just remember these views and opinions are those of my own Tico from EUC Detroit and the members here in Detroit, Michigan that got an opportunity to try these wheels. We want to shout out our sponsor, Yuko, for getting those over to us. So please make sure you all are following the affiliate link in the description below. Shop them, check them out. Great customer service and a wide variety of wheels like the ones we're talking about today. So without further ado, you know, let's jump right into it, right? V11, S18, EX, so many choices to choose from right now as we continue to see these first iteration wheels of suspension. And when I mean first iteration, I mean just that, right? They're not perfect. All of these are brand new to the electric unicycle world, as most of you already know. And I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going over specs because there's a lot of great channels that do that already. But we wanna just give you our raw, organic, up-to-date feedback from an average consumer standpoint of which one you should buy. With the V11, the thing I would tell you the most with that is that it's a solid wheel. Wide pedal base, air suspension on there. And the trick with a lot of these is making sure you adjust the actual suspension to your liking, right? To your weight, certain PSI on the tire. It's gonna take some time to actually get used to and fidget around with until you find that perfect setup. So there's not a one size fits all. And the thing I can say about all three of the wheels in general, it is gonna take some setup time. All of them come with three different various air pump systems and air type of pumps. The S18 and V11 are very similar in size of pump, but the EX is a much, much larger size pump. But again, try playing around with those. Don't get discouraged until you actually find it. So that none of these are really a plug and play right out the box. Probably the one that's more user friendly right out the box would be this EX that's sitting next to me here. Much bigger unit, obviously, and we'll get right into that one in a minute. But with all of these as well too, make sure to get you some type of padding, some type of power pads or some pad that can actually catch while you're either running up and down on curbs or just casual street riding to hold on to and grip. The V11, the thing we didn't like the most about that is that, you know, there was really nothing to hold on to as you started to go across any type of pavement or just even a city ride and you went over those bumps or curbs or potholes your feet will kind of lift from the pedals a little bit. Make sure you get some type of padding. You know, typically with the Gotway, some come with that very thin pad, but even with this, make sure the DIY or some type of power pad is needed. King Song's S18, listen, great wheel. I had so much fun with the S18. That was a little awesome wheel. I didn't think I'd have as much fun as I did with it. Now, again, for myself, my personal taste and a lot of riders here, and maybe some in your community as well, we like to go really fast. Out of the three wheels, really top speed on the EX can take you about 38, 40 miles an hour. Again, give or take weight, situation, height, all of those things into account. But the S18 was awesome. I like the headlight on the S18 two different, three different modes that are set on there. The way it looks at night is actually really cool. Uh, the cage lights up with that red. So it's nice, bright illumination on the back of the wheel. And then again, just the overall fun, solid wheel and trails. Myself, personally, I'm more of a street rider, but I had a great time here in our woods in Michigan and jumping over a bunch of different routes and normally things I would fall on on my MSX, the S18 held its own and, and had a great time. And the way that it's positioned and you kind of lock your feet in, I do appreciate that in the overall basic design, which is really cool. Right out the box, you get that kind of nice gripped and contoured feel. And it's an awesome looking wheel, probably out of the three. It's, it's probably one of the best looking wheels. Both the V11 and S18 price respectively just under 2K, I think is a great idea for either a secondary wheel or people new getting into the game. I know we get that a lot as if, hey, should the S18 or should the V11 be my primary wheel? Should it be the only wheel I get and it's the end all be all? And I'm gonna tell you no. Again, first iteration wheels, 
These companies have some work to do, quite frankly, but I think they're on the right path, especially getting the feedback that we give them on these type of wheels. Again, the V11 and S18, great secondary wheels. I don't know if I would personally use it as a primary wheel, but they're pretty awesome and they've got some really cool things to offer. Make sure when you're taking a look and trying to decide your purchase, keep some of these things in mind that you heard today and some of the reactions from our crew. S18, I love it. It's very smooth, stable, but it's still Agile enough to maneuver, just buttery soft. Whenever you drop off of something, you pop up, you drop off, it's like. <laughs> the V11 is a better, well-rounded wheel. Like it does everything decently, but it doesn't do one thing really well. The S18 on the other hand, that suspension, it's all about that suspension. It's got the perfect amount of dampening, perfect amount of rebound. Whereas the V11, I felt like it was bouncing me up. I don't know if it's set up correctly, but that's at least what it felt like to me. It's like a pogo stick. I'm just yeah. being pushed up. The S18's got the perfect suspension. The problem with the S18 is the battery. It's just too small for me. That's the, that's the reason I wouldn't buy it. It's the battery's too small. It doesn't have the range. And that 2200 watt motor with that small battery, I feel like you can over torque it easily if you push it really hard. And if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with the S18 because I feel like if I'm getting a suspension wheel, I want the suspension to be top notch and I can sacrifice everything else. But if you were only going to get one of these two wheels, I'd go with the V11. That's it. If you have no other wheel and you want a suspension wheel, so far it's the V11. But we'll check out the X later and see how that goes. I'm a V11 fan. The suspension didn't really feel too much different on either one of them. Neither one were dialed to my weight. It just felt better between my legs. It felt more stable cruising at speed. It didn't dig in it. I loved it. I loved it. Now, the one I know you all have been waiting for. Tico, should I spend the $35, $3,600, okay? We're almost talking close to four grand on the EX. Is Gotways EX the superior end-all be-all to the three wheels we talked about today? And after spending some time with it for a week, it's definitely a monstrous wheel. 2,700 watt hour battery, 3,500 watt motor. It's a, it's a big dog, it's a beast. And also the weight is a beast, okay? If you haven't hit the gym in a while, yeah, you can one hand it, but it is definitely heavy. 86, 87 pounds fresh out the box. It is difficult sometimes going up and down stairs for sure. So also take that into consideration if you stay in an apartment building or your commute for work may have you travel up and down stairs. It's definitely not the easiest to carry around. And speaking of carry around, the one con that I think I had personally about the EX is the trolley handle. I know, I know, I know. You've heard it before if you've seen other videos. It's terrible. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Gotway or Bigode, they have an opportunity to get this fixed. And I know some other folks are taking some initiative by themselves and trying to recreate the handle on here. But the trolley definitely makes it difficult to walk in the stores. Myself, personally, I go grocery shopping with my wheel. I'm in and out of department stores and or hardware stores. So it's nice to carry my wheel around with me. The size of the weight based off of that small pencil thin trolley it's not a good look but hopefully we'll see that fixed on some future iterations other really cool features about the ex that i really like the headlight the daytime running light on this is pretty cool it's that of your luxury car almost kind of like your maybe your lincoln's they have that nice glow or that halo eye effect and you still have obviously the headlight that flashes does the little pulse and then just a straight beam no leds on this one other than the screen right in the back that shows your wattage meter, your amperage is in the back. I would have liked to seen that in the front because it kind of defeats the purpose of with the old wheels, taking a look and seeing where you were at battery wise, amp is in the back itself. So it makes it kind of difficult when you're riding the wheel itself to see exactly what's going on. Other really cool features on it though, obviously suspension. Everybody wants to know about the suspension. Myself, I'm a heavier rider. I'm 205, 206. So I had to pump the pressure up a little bit. The wheel over time does lose a little bit of air. So you're gonna have to watch that and constantly kind of pump that up as you do your city rides, depending on the type of cushion feel. But it's really nice. I would go over things, bumps that I never would hit or be afraid of on my MSX. 
I would totally avoid to where on the EX, I took them head on and it took the bumps really good. The other thing you got to understand and realize about these wheels is that it dampens the actual feel. And what I mean by that, it doesn't completely take away bumps or potholes, right, or jumps, but it definitely does have a lessened effect on your knees and your legs, which is a good thing, right? You want to preserve those if you continue on riding electric unicycles. I really appreciated the EX for being able to take on those bigger barriers. And again, that longer battery life, I was able to ride much longer than the V11 and the S18. Again, what's still to be done, I didn't take it really on a lot of trails just because of that low clearance on the way that that suspension dips down. I was afraid and didn't want to damage the wheel because we have some pretty big roots here in Detroit and I didn't want to hit that and chip and break the suspension setup. So just be cognizant and mindful of where that is and where you're going. For street riding though, completely normal. Up and down curves, small jumps, sidewalk to street transitions, it did phenomenal. I had a really great time with it. And this, as you see on this particular wheel, we put our own pads on there because again, it comes with the smaller, thin Gotway pads, which in my opinion, they don't really do anything. So something like a jump pad or a power pad, whether it's leather or that harder plastic or 3D printed is always a great option and definitely something I would recommend picking up for any one of these wheels, whichever ones you decide to go with. But I really enjoyed the traction of the wheel on the S18 as well. And again, the overall speed and feel. It's gonna take you a little while, muscle memory, because it is kind of top heavy. It's gonna definitely feel like a little sluggish. The other thing it feels sluggish with is takeoff and braking. <laughs> so as you saw, you're gonna wanna be aware of your surroundings, obviously at all times, but for sure when you brake on the EX because that weight is taking you a little bit longer, a few seconds more to really slow it down. It does not stop on a dime like other wheels you may or may not be used to. It's definitely a heavy, heavy machine and it's gonna take a little time to get used to, but throwing it around after a week or so, I got right used to it. And quite frankly, I enjoyed the overall ride. I took it off in the grass to try to ride it and something that was bouncing, but you know, it doesn't feel as good as that S18 for the suspension. I do like the feel of the thing. The S18 suspension felt the best for sure. When you're actually going over the bumps, it has the right amount of damping and rebound. V11 was too bouncy and this is too stiff, at least the way they were set up. You can definitely feel the weight when you're throwing it around. And I feel like if you lean too far like this, try to bring it back up, like beyond a certain point, you'll just like drop it because it's so heavy. That, what the hell is this? <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. This is terrible. Like, if I just lean this over halfway and I'll put the weight of this 80 pound on this thing, it'll break. This is a poor idea. Like, if I get this, I just duct tape this and just keep it shut because I don't want it bouncing around like this. It's a heavy guy. Uh, everything yeah. about that wheel is intentional, right? Like you have to think about accelerating and know you want to do it. You have to do the same thing with braking, but the suspension feels clean, right? It feels really stable at speed. It's in general, that's the thing that screams to me is the stability. Right? Like it goes in a straight line really, really well. It's the best cruiser out of all three of the suspensions. After hearing all of the feedback from some members in our group, some of the shots that you got a chance to take a look at today and some of the footage. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, shout out to our sponsors over at Yuko for taking care of us. Looking forward to reviewing more wheels for you all in the future. But in the meantime, between time, definitely check us out over on Instagram at EUC Detroit. Give us a follow, we'll follow back. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely make sure to reach out. And again, if you plan on ordering from Yuko, use that link, use our affiliate link throw some love back to the Detroit community and EUC community. We do this for y'all. We do this for all of us. We're enthusiasts just like you and hardworking people that spend their money and want to know exactly where it's going. So hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Tico and catch you on the next one. Peace.